morning i am devi sena in this lecture we are going to discuss about response of rl circuit excited by impulse signal this topic is present in the subject circuit analysis under the unit transient analysis let us discuss about the response of rl circuit excited by impulse signal consider the rl circuit with no initial current and excited by an impulse voltage of delta suffix v of t as shown in figure a this is the representation of the rl circuit excited by an impulse signal let the switch be closed at time t is equal to 0 let the current i of t is flowing through the rl circuit and voltage drop across the resistor is v of x r of t and voltage drop across the inductor is v of x l of t transient equations of the rl circuit excited by impulse voltage shown in figure a are i of t that is the current flowing through the circuit is equal to v by r e power minus t by tau voltage drop across the resistor v of x r of t is equal to v by tau e power minus t by tau and voltage drop across the inductor v of x l of t is equal to delta of x v of t minus v divided by tau e power minus t by tau where tau is equal to l by r that is the time constant of rl circuit let us see the proof for the response of rl circuit excited by an impulse signal the s domain equivalent of the rl circuit is shown in figure b this is the s domain equivalent of rl circuit excited by an impulse signal let laplace of i of t is, is equal to capital i of s laplace of v of x r of t is equal to capital v of x r of s laplace of v of x l of t is equal to capital v of x l of s laplace of delta v of t is equal to capital v by ohms law we get v of x r of s is equal to capital r into i of s v of x l of s is equal to s l into i of s consider this as equation 1 with reference to figure b by kvl we can write capital v of x r of s plus capital v of x l of s is equal to capital v substitute the value of equation 1 in the above equation we get r into i of s plus sl into i of s is equal to capital v if we take i of s as common means i of s into open bracket r plus sl close the bracket that is equal to capital v so i of s is equal to capital v divided by r plus s into l we have to make the coefficient of s as 1 therefore we have to take l as common in the denominator we get v divided by l into s plus r by l that is equal to v by l into 1 divided by s plus r by l let us take the inverse laplace transform of the above equation laplace inverse of i of s is equal to laplace inverse of v by l into 1 divided by s plus r by l that is i of t is equal to v by l into laplace inverse of 
1 divided by S plus R by L. That is equal to V by L into E power minus T divided by L by R. Therefore, I of T is equal to V by R into tau into E power minus T by tau where tau is equal to L by R that is the time constant of the RL circuit. With reference to figure A by Ohm's law we can write V suffix R of T is equal to R into I of T. We know the value of the I of T so we have to substitute the value of the I of T in this equation. We get V suffix R of T is equal to R into V divided by R tau into E power minus T by tau. That is V suffix R of T is equal to V by tau into E power minus T by tau. With reference to figure A by KVL, we can write V suffix R of T plus V suffix L of T that is equal to delta suffix V of T. Therefore, V suffix L of T that is voltage drop across the inductor is equal to delta suffix V of T minus V suffix R of T. We know the value of the V suffix R of T. So, we have to substitute the value of V suffix R of T in this equation means we get V suffix L of T is equal to delta suffix V of T minus V by tau into E power minus T by tau. This is the value of the voltage drop across the inductor.